Hello again, I'm Paul Bissell, and we are back with part four of the Music Business series. In this course, we'll primarily look into synchronization. You probably knew that from the huge text. Synchronization basically in terms of licenses and the major players and job descriptions involved. We've covered a lot of ground in the last three courses, and at this point, you know, PA and SR are probably your two best friends. And that's good because synchronization and master use licensing hits both of those copyrights and really demands that you know and understand the difference of them at all times. Um, in addition, concepts related to co-publishing, performance rights organizations and their structure, how they measure and rank various broadcast performances, and even our good friend Work for Hire will come back once again. It's like a family reunion of legal aspects. So if you haven't gone through the first three courses, uh, some of the terms, policies, entities, and aspects of the law might be a bit much to start here. The great thing is, however, that we will finally get to the fourth stream of income. Awesome. In this course, we'll also cover some of the related aspects like fair use, which has got to be one of the most rumor-laden topics in the music business, and we need to shed a lot of clarifying light on that. And I'll dissect ephemeral use and close out the course with a reminder of the different hats that are relating to the writer, publisher, and artist, uh, specifically within a, a record deal. Okay, off we go.